Hello anglers, I'm Kel Kellogg and it is time to talk about my super hoochie rig. Um, as you know, I love playing with hoochies. Um, in the past, I've showed you how to double up hoochies to make a bulkier, richer looking bait. Um, I've showed you how to team hoochies with grubs to make a very shad-like silhouette. Compact, fat, looks just like a shad, can draw strikes from some very nice fish. Um, one of the knocks against hoochies is guys will tell me, you know what, I like to troll for big fish and I like to troll big baits and those hoochies are just too small. Well, my super hoochie is an answer to that problem. Now let me show you what we're gonna use to set this rig up. Right here, now I don't want you to get frightened. Okay, don't get scared, I know you're trout guys. That is indeed a finesse worm. That is a magic worm intended for use for with you know for black bass fishing. So so don't be scared. We're going to use it for trout and landlocked kings. And here's what we're going to do. I've got a piece of 20 pound test fluorocarbon leader. Yeah, 20 pound test. We want a stiff piece of leader because we're going to run this behind a dodger, and we want a maximum amount of action imparted on the bait from that dodger and that stiff 20 pound test is going to help make that happen and because it's fluorocarbon the fish aren't going to see it. I've got that tipped with a finesse style plastic worm hook that is a number four long shank hook. I've just got it attached with a palomar knot and uh, I'm going to end up putting a double uh, overhand loop knot in this end where I'm going to hook it to the dodger but right now it's just you know just the cut off end and that's probably I'm guessing 16 inches long. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our worm and we're going to kind of figure out where our, let me set this down, where are two hook links up from the tail of that worm. This is a, a cool looking minnow colored worm. It's blue with blue flake. It's light on the bottom. And it's got a chartreuse tail. So let me kind of measure that out. There's one length. There's two links. So I'm going to snap that worm off right about there. No, I didn't hook myself in the lip. Nothing fancy, I just broke the worm off. But I haven't discarded this piece. I want to break off probably, I'm going to say half an inch, five eighths of an inch. You know, just a piece like so big. And I'm going to slide this on the hook and up the line above the hook to provide a little space for the hoochies that we're ultimately going to put on here. So I'll do that first. Let me get up close to the camera here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I know, I know we got breeze and sun. It's right around lunchtime, so I got an overhead sun, which is never the best. But I've just started that on there. You get the idea. Slide it right down the hook, right around the shank. Line that up just a little bit better. Yeah, just like that. Right down the shank. I'm gonna come right over the eye, right over the eye, and up the line. So that's right there, that's fine. Now we're gonna take the, the uh, piece of worm with the tail, we're gonna go in the head end of that, and we want that hook just, just setting in there like that. So we'll just kind of work it on there. Doesn't have to be exact, doesn't have to come right up to the eye, but we want it pretty close. I want the light side down, blue side up we want to maintain that kind of that kind of bait fish look so just kind of threading it down I'm old and blind and I know some of you guys are too so there we go I'm popping that hook out you can see that just gonna work that up the shank just like that I want to get it on there fairly straight and these kind of kind of rigs anytime you're working with soft plastics they're fairly forgiving. And if I decide, you know, I've got too much space there, I can always take this off. In fact, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to remove that because I don't need that. Sometimes I need that, but this time I left the worm plenty long. So that's where we're at. And you know what's going to happen next. I'm going to slide on a hoochie. And actually, in this case, I'm going to slide on two hoochies. And what I've got here, they've got a couple silver hoard, the mini sardines. That's a silver flake clear. And this is a silver flake clear with a blue back. So we want that one to be over the top. So the first one that's going on here is just the silver flake and clear. Thread that leader through there and we'll just slide that right on down, right over that worm. And now we'll put on the, uh, 
the kind of the over hoochie, which is that blue. Now, now they're just kind of thrown on there right now. So let's work on this silver one a little bit. Let's get it down on that worm. Get it right where we want it, like so. And now we'll bring that, that top hoochie over the top. Kind of work it around till we get it positioned where we like it. About like that. Just like that. Now, there's how that's looking. Let's finish this off. Let's put that double overhand loop knot in there. Just like that. We'll go through there once. We'll go through there twice. We'll draw that down. I got a little tag end on there, but that's fine. That won't hurt anything. If that bothers you, you can remove it. But reality is not going to hurt anything. Now, there's your rig. That is about a two and three quarter to three inch long bait fish imitation. It has that good bait fish color, the blues, the silvers. It's tipped with chartreuse. You want to slather that thing with your favorite bait fish scent. You know, some Procure, some Sardine, some Smelt, Threadfin Shad, um, just a bait fish scent. You know, which, whichever is your favorite. That's got great movement. It's got a great silhouette. It's got a lot of length. That's a bulky bait. Now, this is something you're going to run at a place where there's big fish, Shasta, um, big bait fish lakes, Shasta, Don Pedro, maybe Folsom. Anywhere there's big kings, big rainbows, fish that are going to be down near the thermocline. This is going to be dynamite. Um, hopefully I'll make it up to Shasta and I'll, I'll show you a bait like this in action, you know, trolling this summer when the fish are locked in the thermocline. You're trying to get a little bit bigger bite. They're feeding on shad anyway, but you want to run a, a bigger, bolder bait. This is a great option, the, uh, the super hoochie or the magnum hoochie. Now, here's what I'm going to run this behind. This is not the this is not the rig to be running with a small dodger. I would either want a silver horde, a six inch, you know, herring style dodger, or better yet, you know what my favorite is, the uh, UV blue or UV green green six inch sling blade. There's that bait. That is a dynamite combination and uh, in terms of big baits you know you can go out you can get the big Rapalas what are those nine ten bucks you can get a big Yozuri they might even cost more um, you can get a good size spoon five or six dollars this is a super economical bait it's super versatile you can go with olive over or not olive pearl over silver pearl on pearl you can go clear you can mix and match you know, those finesse worms, magic worms, mother's finest worms, robo worms, they're very inexpensive. They're very soft. When a fish grabs that, it's going to feel like real bait, especially if you put that Procure on there. They're going to grab it. They're going to hang on. This is a great big fish option. Works at Tahoe, too. I've seen these catch some really nice Mackinac over the years. A guy's just kind of experimenting, putting some different stuff together. So, anyway, the Super Hoochie Rig. If you want to target big fish, you don't want to break the bank, and you want a fun bait that you can, you know, experiment with that has a ton of versatility, run with that. The plastic worm teamed with a double set of hoochies. But just remember, you want to use that 20 pound, 15 to 20 pound test here, because that stiff line is gonna, it's gonna put maximum action, you know, into that hoochie. So you're not going to lose any of the Dodgers action. So that's about the size of it. If you're going to use a sling blade, you control this two to two and a half miles an hour. You're going to have awesome action. I think you're going to have awesome results. Anyway, that's my tip for today. Wow, look at that. That's that's That thing throws some flash. Anyway, that's my tip for today. Um, I'm signing off for now. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do that. I want to thank you guys for all the support. I got to stop wiggling that thing around. I want to thank you guys for all the support. Without you, there wouldn't be a fish hunt shoot YouTube channel. Please read the Fish Niffer magazine, and I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. This is Kel Kellogg.